Using the wire marker application, text is repeated down the length of your label so that as it's wrapped around a wire, the legend is viewable from any angle. The wire marker label type is accessible from either the electrical or datacom applications. Type the wire ID information. The font size will adjust to fit the data you need on one row. As room becomes available, data is repeated down the length of the marker. If two lines of data are needed, press Enter and begin entering the information for the second line. To print more than one copy of your label, use the Advanced Print feature. It's also possible to add serialized data, barcoded data, or symbols to wire markers. And you can print wire markers on a variety of labels, including removable or permanent wraparound labels, self-laminating labels, or continuous tape. When using continuous tape, you can either enter the length that you want the marker to be, or, if you're not sure, enter the wire diameter and the printer automatically calculates the necessary marker length. Flag labels are perfect for small gauge wires or fiber optics, where a lot of information is desired, but you don't have a lot of room. Brady offers several label supplies for this application. Please refer to our website for a detailed list. To make a flag label, select the electrical application and the flags label type. Press Apps, scroll to Electrical, scroll to Flags, press Enter. There are several different layouts to choose from based on the desired text orientation. Some automatically repeat the data on both ends, while other layouts allow different information to be entered. Scroll to the layout desired and press OK to select it. To apply the flag to the wire, remove the liner from the flag and fold the label around the wire. With the BMP71 label printer, it's easy to make perfectly spaced labels for marking terminal blocks. That's because it does all the work for you. To make a terminal block label, press the Apps key, scroll to the application, and select Terminal Block. First, the application asks for the repeat value. This is the distance from one terminal to another, and can vary by terminal block manufacturer. Press the right arrow key to select what type of separator you want. You can select from no separator, a line, or tick marks. Scroll to the option you want. Press OK. Then, press the right arrow key. Type in the number of terminals and press the right arrow key to select the orientation of the data on your label. Choose from vertical or horizontal. The final option allows the data to be serialized. Selecting this will bring up the serialization screen, where you can enter in your start and end value. If your data is not serialized, leave this box unchecked. Scroll to OK, and press OK, and then press Print.